Hello everyone, my name is Beagle and welcome to a quick Minecraft tutorial video where I want to show you my process behind building custom trees and I want to show you some methods that I compiled over my time building them and also some small tricks that you can use to make them look ever so slightly better. So this is the type of a custom tree I want to show you how to build today. It is a small custom oak tree, it has a curved trunk, it's got some branches hidden behind the leaves to add some detail. And yeah, it's a overall relatively simple tree to build as far as custom trees go. And I think it is a very good starting point if you ever want to get into building custom trees. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make yourself a trunk that you will be building off of. Now, you don't have to use oak wood, you can use oak logs, that is totally fine. But then be sure to cover up the tops with slabs like this or stairs. I'm going to show that in a little bit. So make yourself a custom trunk somewhat like this. This is a pretty decent example. Now, by the way... <laughs> This is not a block for block tutorial, this is more of a method showing process, right? I just want to show you how I make them, so you can come up with your own ways of making them. So to make your trunk slightly more curved, you can add some stairs here. If this is a log, you can add a slab here. That makes it look slightly better. And then you want to bring up the bark from the bottom, or the trunk I should say kind of like this and make it look stable that is the point of this step of the process now this doesn't look half bad but this doesn't look good these slabs being on the same level so what you can do is break this and just have a bar bark block like that that makes it look slightly better and i think i'm happy with this so now i'm just gonna place a few blocks kind of like this it will make it look slightly more natural as you can see it makes quite a big difference and you can even go and make some roots coming off of the tree as well so maybe we can do something like that maybe something like that that's pretty good have a stair there and if you really want to go detailed you can put some oak logs in between kind of like this make it look like the roots are indented in the ground let's add one over here yep now this is basically everything you need for your trunk and the bigger you make it the more branches you will be able to fit onto it so usually i do right about four branches coming off of every single side and I use a mix of spruce what are these called fences <laughs> spruce fences and spruce gates and you don't need to use spruce gates most if you're playing like on a server and you use spruce gates most likely no one is going to notice but I, I do it anyway so we can do something like this just have some branches with smaller branches coming off of the sides and you can also curve them once you get comfortable with building trees but this is a beginner's guide so we won't be doing that maybe do something like this that's pretty good and add some smaller branches here just so you have as many branches as possible because we're gonna put leaves on them anyway so you want to be able to see the small parts of them somewhat like this right i think that is a very neat effect that i'm trying to achieve here so we're gonna have four fences like this and we're gonna place some gates like that yeah the gates add a nice bit of variation make the branches slightly more natural i think this needs slightly more stuff here so we will do that and the neat thing about gates is you can actually place them like this right next to the fences you can't do that with fences because they connect up like this and it doesn't look so good <laughs> so yeah if you want to have two branches right next to each other this is the way 
to do it. Nice, okay, so this is a pretty solid set of branches we have here, I think. So we can move on to placing the leaves onto them. And the way you do this is you just place leaves on all of the branches from all of the sides. Don't forget about the bottoms. <laughs> the bottoms are the most important parts because those are the ones that you will be seeing the most unless you're like flying over it with a litra. And this will be slightly tricky to do in survival, but it is definitely possible. <laughs> It's just slightly annoying. I do recommend either bringing ender pearls or scaffolding of some sort to make this slightly easier for yourself. But yeah, you're just gonna place leaves all over the branches like so. And that will give us a good start when it comes to the crown of the tree. So I placed all of the leaves and all of the branches and this is the result as of right now. <laughs> I know, very pretty, right? So we're gonna try to convert this into something that looks somewhat like this. So what you wanna do is you wanna layer the leaves on top of each other, kinda like this, and then bring them up towards the middle, right? Like you can see that we have just a single block here and it's kinda like a staircase towards the top. So what we're gonna do here to kinda negate this is we're gonna place some leaves kind of like this we're gonna bring out the middle towards this yep yep that looks pretty good and now we have slightly more verticality as well because we need to add more leaves here now we can place more leaves and the more leaves you place the better the tree will look yeah it's basically impossible to have too many leaves on a tree <laughs> in this game so just to keep placing and keep placing Especially on these edges, these are usually the most rough looking, so you want to make them look as natural as possible. And then you want to bring out the center towards the sides. Like so, that's looking pretty decent. Okay, so we're gonna switch our attention to the bottom for a second. What you want to do is you want to add more weight from the bottom as well and what you can do what i really like doing is you can do this you can kind of do these groupy leaves so just place like two blocks of leaves all around the thing one two one two and it doesn't have to be on the edges it can be towards the middle as well one two and yep, that's looking pretty good this is probably the nicest effect you can do with leaves, these droopy leaves. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Uh, we need slightly more weight towards the top. And I think we're gonna have one more layer of leaves on the top as well. Because this is starting to be slightly tall. Yep, that is a nice effect. Also, if you don't like having a leaf block kind of stay out like this, then you can break the fence behind it and place the leaf block there. That is usually a better effect. So yeah, this is probably the most time-consuming process of them all. But it's usually also one of the more fun ones. And try to avoid symmetry and continuity. Here you can see we have kind of two similar looking blocks there. So try and break it up whenever you can, so you have the least amount of symmetry possible. Let's try breaking this up, you can kind of see a pattern forming here. Three blocks, two blocks, one block, it's almost like a pyramid. So I'm gonna do this, and that is slightly better. And just go around your build and kind of add sections to it to make it look more broken up. Okay, we are almost there. Now another technique you can use, I haven't actually used it on that one, but you can try to make your leaves kind of like fluffy. So what you can do is you can break a block and have a block above it and that kind of looks pretty decent if you have a bunch of them in correct spaces, kind of like that. Yeah, it does make it definitely look way more natural. 
this is not an easy thing to do and you might fail your first few attempts trying to do this technique but it's definitely something you should keep in mind when building these things here let's try doing one here let's yeah avoid this as well this is kind of like a rectangle here there we go proper english so just break a block there and it looks way more natural as well maybe let's break a block here and maybe let's break one more block over let's say i don't even see a good opening to break another block and congratulations your custom tree is built except there is always room for improvement right <laughs> So you can do a bunch of fun stuff with foliage and coarse dirt and whatnot around your trees. So let me just grab these blocks real quick. There we go. Maybe one of these, one of these and one of these. Oh, okay. And what you can do is you can put coarse dirt below it. Now, usually in real life, there is slightly less grass below the trees because the leaves take up all of the sunlight and it's slightly dimmer underneath the trees so this also does kind of make sense if you're building slightly more realistic trees so that is something you could keep in mind just place some coarse dirt around it will also make the tree look more natural in its position it's not gonna look like you just placed it there right it's gonna look like it actually grew there so it's a nice effect maybe one there and maybe one there and also you can place some rocks around it just to break up all of the brown so you have a whole green section and a whole brown section and a gray section will just add some variety to your build so let's do something like that that's not bad at all i like that and you can also place some grass and ferns around if you're doing survival i don't recommend placing tall grass because tall grass in survival is the devil <laughs> but small ferns and small grass always work really well i think so let's just place those all around we need some more coarse dirt here and if you want slightly more color you can go for brown mushrooms now you need a low light level to place these so you need to be careful where you can place them like i can't place it here but i can place it here right but yeah, they kind of look like one of those mushrooms that grow on the sides of trees if you kind of let your imagination take over yeah and that is basically all you need to build some small custom beginner custom trees. I really like these things. I build them a lot. And I hope you learned something from this video. And that now you can kind of grasp the theory behind building this. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful rest of the day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.